Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 13 in the PHP programming tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to cover the array now basically an array is just a way to store multiple variables within one family and today we're going to learn about the numeric and the associative array so first of all let's jump straight in let's go to the numeric array if we just create the PHP file we'll call this array.php and we'll <coughs> excuse me and the way to declare an array is similar to creating a variable now remember when I told you that you didn't have to specify the data type for variables in PHP well that is different with an array you have to declare the variable type which is an array first so we're going to call this names it's going to be our array it's going to contain some names I'm just going to call it well uh, you have to type the array keyword after names and then put some brackets and inside these brackets you will specify every member of this array so you enclose them in quotes so the first name is going to be Chris and then have a comma to separate each part of the array second name is Tom comma and third name is Bob so what we've done here is we've created um, a new variable and we've specified it is an array and then <coughs> in in brackets we've said that the first member is Chris, second is Tom, and third is Bob. Now onto one of the confusing parts of all programming languages really with arrays. I guess if you th if you looked at this and you had no programming experience you would think okay so number one is Chris, number two is Tom, number three is Bob. That is wrong. With arrays in programming it starts counting from zero. So if we just put a comment here so that means that number Chris is number zero and then Tom is number one and Bob is number two so instead of Chris being number one Chris is actually number zero you should never get that confused in PHP it will be difficult to understand at first maybe you might make a few mistakes but after a while of using this then you'll get used to it so that is one of the fundamentals of arrays that you must remember so now we've got that out of the way, let's carry on. What we're going to do is Teco is um Teco, I'm getting quite confused and really tired at the moment. We're gonna echo out names and we're going what we do when we echo out an array, um you need to put the square brackets and inside the square brackets you need to give the name of the array and what we're going to do is put zero right now because that's that, that's in position zero, it's the first one. So if we save that and go to array.php and there's an error on line 3, I bet I've missed a semicolon somewhere. What have I done? Um, I've done something wrong here, so let me just figure it out. Okay, so I've actually just figured out what I've done wrong and it's actually something really stupid. I didn't put the assignment operator here so when declaring an array you have to do the array name then an equal sign and then type out array and in brackets you will type out the values to go inside that array so I apologize for that mistake it's actually quite you know the easiest mistake I can make I can't believe I didn't realize what it was so anyway if I just save and reload that you'll see that it echoes out Chris as Chris is the value 0 and then if we um, change that to a 1 reload it Tom is the next value okay so what I'm gonna do now is show you guys how to make an associative array that was a numeric array and it's similar to declare you'll this is going to be called ages and I'm going to give each name an age so ages equals and I remember the equal sign this, sign this time array and then we'll put our brackets there but difference when declaring this is that we don't declare just the value we also declare the name of the value so the first value is I think it was Chris this is the name this isn't the value of the array so Chris and then we put this equals and then greater than sign and now we type the value of the array and for this it is going to be um, 18 then we'll have a comma and then next name was Tom I think and then we're going to do equals greater than Tom's going to be 20 and then it was I think Bob equals or greater than and then he's going to be 16 so 
now let's just save this make sure there's no errors okay the array saved successfully so now <coughs> to call the array it's also similar than to call a numeric array all you do is do echo and then you type the name of the array which is ages and then the square brackets again but the only difference is inside of the square brackets you need to use the name of the value so if we try name as Chris save this reload and it'll give the age of 18 so we can just embed that into a sentence maybe say Chris is and then concatenate this onto here and we'll have ages with the value of Chris concatenate again years old and then full stop forget the semicolon and then reload it and it'll say Chris is 18 years old and just before anyone pointed out you actually don't need a semicolon at the end of your last statement in PHP that's a fun fact I guess but I would just put one at the end every time just for good practice so you'll see it still works so we'll put that back on okay so let's just try to get Tom's age so we'll just change this to Tom is and then we'll find the ages in the array ages of Tom save that and Tom's 8, 20 years old so what we can also do is print out the contents of an array and we can do that with the print r function so print underscore r and then in brackets we type the name of our array which is ages and then so if we reload this now it'll say that Chris 18 Tom 20 Bob 16 now there's another type of array which I won't teach in this tutorial maybe in a further one because I don't want to run the time over but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial so just to evaluate to create a numeric array you will just assign the name of the array and then the equal sign so you know don't be an idiot like me and forget the equal sign which is the assignment operator and then you type the word array and in brackets uh, you type each value of the array and each value will be enclosed in quotations and separated by, separated by a comma and to call an array you simply just put the name of the array so ages and then in square brackets the numeric value of which which array you want to output but with an associative array you can actually name your your array value so give it a name and then you can just call on that with the array so thanks for watching this tutorial if you have any questions simply leave a comment and yep yeah, please like the video um, subscribe to the channel and also you know give me a message if you have any questions also so thanks for watching and goodbye